we were blessed with a second episode of Hard Knocks this week, uh, which recapped part of the Lions-Falcons game and also brought to fruition what I said when we talked about Hard Knocks before an episode even aired. And we were talking about who we thought would be some studs of the show. And I said it flat out, and you can go back and check the tape. Malcolm Rodriguez. Watch out for Malcolm Rodriguez. This kid could end up being a star of Hard Knocks. And now he might end up being a starter for the Detroit Lions defense because episode two was a whole bunch of number 44 proving a whole lot of people around wrong about what he can do with his smaller stature. Uh, ain't the size of the dog in the fight. Size of the fight in the dog. And that dog has a whole lot of fight, Ryan. I mean, I, th- I think it's more of a... Uh like a negative on our linebacking room <laughs> in general that the six round pick might come in and start day one and that he comes in and that you know he's already better than than all these <laughs> than all these other guys but we knew the linebacker and group for the lions was weak it was weak last year they really didn't do anything to uh, address it in the off season. I know they brought in Jared Davis again, who was bad here the first time, and surprise, <laughs> he's probably still bad. And then, of course, they drafted Malcolm Rodriguez. So uh, it's great to see that he's stepping up and becoming one of the better linebackers on the team already, it seems like. But it's also scary because that means the rest of your linebackers probably aren't very good. Like, even if Malcolm Rodriguez turns out to be decent this year, if he's your best linebacker, you're in a whole lot of trouble on defense. Well, hold on now. What, what, what are we talking about here? They were talking about, uh, you know, there's a coach who's been with the Lions for five years, hasn't seen a linebacker like Rodriguez in his five years in Detroit. Yeah, we've got terrible linebackers here, and we have for a long time. <laughs> I was say, well, if you've been in Detroit all five years, you, you probably wouldn't have seen a linebacker like him because <laughs> our last good one was DeAndre Levy, and he quit football. <laughs> no kidding. Huh. All right. Well, so episode two, we saw a whole bunch of Rodriguez. We saw more Campbell and Glenn and Deuce going into it. And then we saw the game as well as uh, some focus on David Blau and his Olympian wife, uh, track star, uh, Hurdler. Uh, I could do it out all that. Shout out Oak Park High School, though. They, I mean, you know, they were training. It, it, it was cool seeing the team behind, you know, their backup quarterback sitting there rooting, you know, watching with him and rooting her on. You know, while she was in the Olympics, uh, I thought that was cool. Uh, and then we get to the actual game, and you know, the <laughs> you see the womp womp coming as they're talking about the game. Obviously, we know what happened in the end, but like they're all this hype and talking about it. And Dan Campbell in the last four minutes, like, let's go finish the game. He is not trying to run the clock out. He's trying to go score a touchdown to win this game. You know, with double digit scoring, uh, and 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 then the fumble. And then the defense. <laughs> and then there's just, you know, not enough time left, about a minute and a half left for the Lions to try and get a Hail Mary in. Doesn't happen. Lions lose their only home game of the preseason. Uh, Blau feels terrible, obviously, afterwards. Um, but uh, I, I felt for Blau watching all that, knowing what was coming, because uh, I, I did feel for him. Uh, but it was, it was cool seeing... You know, even though we already knew what happened, you know, it was cool seeing the Hutch stuff happen, you know, and uh, the fans. Uh, and <laughs> it was, uh, uh, is it a uh, St. Brown's family that was calling out Hutch's family for sitting up in the uh, yeah. in the VIP boxes? And <laughs> they ain't down here with us. Yeah, I mean, John Brown stole the show, uh, Amon Ross, the father. <laughs> Between that and the training sequence, um, and I mean, I, I assume we're probably going to get a lot of the Hutchinson family because I think a lot of people want to see that. I, I don't. I'm over it already. You know, even when they're at the game, uh, it seemed like his dad was just hyper focused, you know, even after he got the tackle for loss or whatever. And the mom starts crying and then she's looking at the dad and he's just staring at the, <laughs> at the field like, yep, yep, saw it, saw it, saw it. You know, so he was uh, probably a little bit more focused than the, uh, than the rest of his family was. But it was it was cool to see the game and how the coaches were reacting on the sideline do staley getting upset at deandre swift for scoring a touchdown which you know if you're the lions you don't score a whole lot of touchdowns so i don't i don't know why you'd be mad at it but we had there was a there was a lot of meat on the bone i think in this episode and a lot of things people took away from it that they could you know like kind of pick apart 
I actually appreciate Deuce going at him. Uh, is that you know basically it's an idea of never settling and you know there were holes made for you by the guys whose job it is to make holes for you in the middle and you bounced out too quickly to get to the outside and he's yelling at him, you know stay disciplined follow your blockers and find the holes as opposed to always I mean look at Reggie Bush Reggie Bush was always trying to bounce it outside as opposed to following his holes and his career didn't last as long because of it because he took big hits trying to get outside and lost yardage and a lot of hole running sideways as opposed to north and south so I appreciate that from Deuce and I understand don't pull up the number of touchdowns that Deuce ran for in his career. I don't want to hear it. I well, went over this. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. Not I a lot. understand. Because but... DeAndre Swift are, has already beat that number, in case you were wondering. <laughs> All right. Deuce Staley played for hey, 40 years. Hey, you, you know, if you can do, you do. If you can't, you teach. So, you know, Deuce is teaching now. So, you know, it falls right in line. And, you know, Reggie Bush was also in the NFL for 10 years. The, so. Oh, no, I mean, I'm just saying, for as far as one okay. of the big complaints with Reggie, Me too. was Reggie <laughs> was always trying to bounce it out as opposed to following his blockers and trying to find the holes made for him by them. And he's trying to get Swift to be that kind of runner where he can be that, you know, amazing running back in the NFL that Deuce apparently believes he can be. And it's not always going to be bouncing it outside. Sometimes you have to take what was given as opposed to bouncing it out. Guess who already has more touchdowns than Reggie Bush ever had in a single season as well? Just guess. <laughs> if you guess DeAndre Swift, the, the number's correct. Okay. So this is a guy who knows how to find the end zone and getting upset at him because he didn't take an eight-yard gain by following his blockers. And instead, he used his athleticism to get to the outside and score a touchdown, mm -hmm. and now you're mad at him. <laughs> you not do Staley didn't draft him, but the Lions drafted him to be this great athlete that he was. Let him be that great athlete. I'm just saying I understand where Deuce is coming from. <laughs> All right. Yeah, do, yeah, don't score. Yeah. Be 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 a man and don't score. That, that's think that's exactly what Deuce said. <laughs> yes. Hey, Ryan Griffin here. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Griffin and Bats. Be sure to give us your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to click the bell to receive the latest notifications from DSN and subscribe for breaking news, community blogs, polls, contests, and other content.